week ago today, he looked like he did in his senior picture at night high. We would love to have those young legs again. Ball is up. One thing that I think you and I are both a little concerned about here is a possible letdown. It was a massive emotional game on Wednesday against the Warriors. As Carter Jr. knocks down the three for Orlando to get it started. Sometimes teams don't wake up early enough in games to get themselves down far behind. Zoo, a variety of moves. Possessions here, there, turnovers here, there, offensive rebounds, and find ways to win, and they do a great job of getting into the rim. Eric Gordon looking for the Clippers' first bucket. Not a good shot. Yeah, he can get that shot anytime he wants. It's when you move the ball a little bit, you wind up wide open. That's the one. You know, go back to that game against Golden State, Brian. We, again, we got out to a slow start. You remember Curry ran those backdoor cuts, was getting layups, and but little by little, they worked, they forced turnovers. We're not good, or, or excuse me, Golden State was phenomenal. First four or five minutes of each frame. Our Clippers were a little bit better to close. Westbrook inside misses the bunny, rebound goes. I mean, everybody knows the front of your logo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Two misses inside. Four points, couple of the rebounds. Clippers are down 14 to seven. They play tomorrow night in Portland. Wendell Carter Jr. taking all of his shots essentially from the mid-range. Three turnovers, four of 11 from the field to start. Wagner, lob it up high to Wendell Carter Jr. for the flush. Orlando out in front. Westbrook dives down the lane, hangs, awkward shot. Rebound goes to Zoo, twisting and turning, but he can't lay it in. Harris pressuring George the length of the floor. Aaron pass again, second time we've seen that from George. Here's Fultz challenging George, no. And Carroll, they're making Wendell Carter Jr. for the flush the other way. Harris pressuring George the length of the floor. Aaron pass again, second time we've seen that from George. Here's Fultz challenging George, no. And Carroll, they're making Wendell Carter Jr. for the flush the other way. Clippers get the extended possession, 10 to shoot. Man to Covington. Well, he had, I thought, cruel intentions for the iron, but he does draw the foul, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Last game, same thing, a terrible first half, but then a dynamic 16-point second half. So let's see what happens here when he comes back in. Wendell Carter, Jr. knocks it down. I just hope David Pingalore didn't put a jinx on him, Coach Vitello. Coach. Morris, five to shoot for George, contested three. They still have to... A lot of places that they can get work done here. They've got some time to do it. Carter Jr. for three. Rebound goes for a flat footer to beat the Zubas. Clippers shooting 16 to 37. A lot of opportunities. How about Wendell Carter Jr. with the block? Clippers recover with 10 to shoot. Gordon for the lead. For the first time today, Clippers out in front 47 to 46. 415 to play in this second quarter. Gordon with five. Here's Fultz the other way. A whistle. And the ball is going back the other way. They're calling a foul against Orlando. 4.15 to play in this second quarter. Gordon with five. Here's Fultz the other way. A whistle. And the ball is going back the other way. They're calling a foul against Orlando. They might keep going to him. Going to him. There's another turnover. Opportunity right here. Lob to Westbrook. A little too tall. And the ball goes back to Orlando. To his work, right in that painted area. Nine points for him. Long two for George. It's short. If you catch a game with Greg Anthony, you're going to be informed and entertained. There's no doubt about it. Orlando has bounced back. They now lead by three on the four-point play. Lob to Zoo. A lot of traffic inside for Orlando. They have guarded the rim. Ben Carroll, watched by Covington, gets around him down the lane, hands it off to Carter Jr., lays it in, counted, and a foul. And I'm telling you, Ben Carroll is an absolute player. I still think Ben Carroll is a pretty good player, even though that assist was, should be credited to Covington. Four-point Orlando lead. Morris all alone on the wing for three. Rebound goes to Carter Jr. for Orlando. Where has this energy been? I just keep saying I've learned so much from you. <laughs> On how not to do a game. Clippers come over with a turnover. Westbrook back the other way. Drives down the lane. Hands it to Zoo. And tried to hand to Zoo. Instead hands to Carter Jr. He might have gotten an award the other night. This is a part of his reel to be for your consideration. Wendell Carter Jr. for three. 33% on the year. Zoo with his 12th rebound. 
Gordon chased by Harris in the corner to an open. Westbrook late in the clock misses short. Two with another rebound. Clippers have had second chance opportunities. They don't have a lot of second chance points. Carter Jr. for three. He has been in the NBA as far as arena goes. Here's Wagner, goes on the wing to Van Caro. Good body control there by Westbrook. No look in the corner to Carter Jr. for another three. It's good. That's the turnovers the Clippers have had. Anthony inside off the window. Van Caro surrounded by defenders, elevates through the canopy of Clippers and flushes it in. It's a two point game. That's the turnovers the Clippers have had. Anthony inside off the window. And Carroll surrounded by defenders, elevates through the canopy of Clippers and flushes it in. It's a two point game. Taking care of the basketball, getting the kind of shots that you want, taking a little too long to get into the half court offense. Lob to Carter Jr., the flush, and once again, it's a two point game. Well, with George back out on the floor, the Clippers will have to protect the ball. George has six turnovers, lets it fly. Covington make it Westbrook saves it to Covington down the lane Wild shot no Clippers have been walking between raindrops here in this second half They've led by as many as eight. This is for the lead. It's good Carter jr. Puts Orlando out in front do checks in zoo 15 rebounds Plumley with a nice line 10 rebounds the tough play to finish there Oh, what a shot by Harris inside. Five and a half to play in the fourth. Magic lead by three. Carter Jr. for three. And a long rebound goes to Morris. Carter Jr. ball fake. He gets Zoo to fight. Blocked at the rim. Fultz recovers a whistle and a foul. And Fultz will go to the line for free throws. There's a two-man game with Harris. Surveys the scene and finds Fultz. Contested mid-range. Oh, it's good for Fultz. He has 22. And Jamal Mosley, head coach of Orlando, has said it's a possession game. That's where we tend to struggle. They have played very well here in the fourth. Harris taps it. Wendell Carter Jr. for another three. Oh, my goodness. Secure the defensive rebound. Stops and scores in that order. Fultz the other way. Lob it to Carter Jr. And he lays it in. 104-99. Get into that list. He has played very well here this afternoon. Be hard pressed to find a better effort from an Orlando Magic player. Denied at the rim by guess who? Carter Jr. does it again.